Hi, everybody. 10 o'clock, Doug Dunbar. Good to have you. Tonight, Dallas County reporting three new flu deaths. That brings the total number for the county this season to nine. Health officials are issuing a warning to everybody tonight. Brooke Katz is with me tonight to get us underway with all this. Brooke? Yeah, Doug, and we checked with both Dallas and Tarrant counties, and they do expect flu activity to stay elevated for at least several more weeks before the season starts to wind down. In addition to those confirmed flu deaths in Dallas County, there are four additional possible flu related deaths, including two children. And if confirmed, those would be the first pediatric deaths in Dallas County. That includes 16 year old Reese Termulo, a Bishop Lynch High School student who died suddenly Friday. And health officials say flu may be to blame. So far this season, eight children in Texas have died from flu. Three deaths in Tarrant County, none in Denton or Collin counties. Your best line of defense still to get the flu shot. And doctors say it's not too late. If you do get sick, though, Get treatment ASAP. You may not even need to show up physically. Many providers, like Children's Health, offer virtual visits. If you're feeling the onset of those uh, flu like symptoms, or if you're around somebody that you know of has had the flu, and you're starting to feel the effects of just the cough, the congestion, feeling just achy and tired, uh, make a visit. Uh, it's just as simple as getting on your phone, uh, downloading the app, and you can typically be seen in 10 minutes or so. And Doug, health officials really do want to drive home this point, the importance of the flu vaccine, especially for people with chronic health conditions. We're talking things like asthma, diabetes, heart disease, even at this stage in the game. That all makes a lot of real good sense. But we, we had talked earlier this year about this year being the, the numbers especially different compared to previous years because B, mm -hmm. which is not the normal big strain, right? Right. So do the numbers that you're seeing suggest any changes in that at all? Or? No, actually they don't. Flu B, still the most prevalent strain that we're seeing, and that is the strain that tends to cause severe illness is in children rather than older adults. So beyond the vaccine, making sure your kids are practicing good hand washing frequently, also making sure that they're covering those coughs and sneezes. Yeah, the nine deaths though in Dallas, uh, a shocking number. It and, is. and it's a very real problem. Thank you so much for the insight. We appreciate it. We do have resources online to help you deal with flu this season. Maybe some things you haven't thought about. Why don't you take a minute to check it out? Preventing treating illness and locations where you can still get a flu shot. Yes, they still recommend it. Just go to cbsdfw.com slash flu.